town because of the bush and because that because there's like lots of eucalyptus trees it's good to walk in and it's nice to smell it's good that most people in Albany um, take care of the um, Albany's native bush areas. Sydney Wahoo is probably one of the biggest weed problems in the Great Southern. Uh, it's quite invasive and it grows really well here. Here we've got areas where you know you might have one tree and people think oh but it looks so nice it's you know pretty and all that and the birds like it or whatever but if you turn around and look back five years from then that's all you'll see is the Sydney wattle. Um, taken together these wattles are the worst environmental weed in the southern region. So how do we get about bashing these things? I guess is, is what everybody's wanting to know. So in terms of control, it definitely depends on um, the size of the infestation, the size of the tree, uh, and, and the area that you're, that you're working in. Um, there are a few different methods that are widely used um, in, in and around Albany. Um, one is, is chainsaw. You can chainsaw and then paint something like Roundup, usually Roundup, a very concentrated amount, on, actually onto the stump within 20, 30 seconds. Tree can be lopped, basically removed, and the branches cut up and dragged out of a certain spot or burnt, um, eliminating the tree there and then. And we've also got strictly chemical treatments, and that works really well for the larger ones because if you can imagine trying to chainsaw up down a big tree and then pull it out and it's spreading seeds everywhere, it works better in a lot of situations um, to actually do what's called um, basal bark treatment. And basal bark treatment, in a nutshell, is basically like a chemical ring barking and we use a residual herbicide such as Access um, that's, that's basically sprayed all around the tree right near the base there. It's given it a good soak, that's taken in, that stays there for long enough to actually kill the tree. And full coverage is, is essential. Um, if, you, if you leave a strip of bark unsprayed, um, it won't be completely effective and it can, it can stay alive. Uh, generally a plant won't, um, a newly grown Sydney water won't, won't flower until it's two years old in maturity, so um, follow up every six months to a year, uh, depending on the size of the area, will ensure that no, no regrowth um, is able to set seed. Uh, so today, yeah, with the Great Southern Grammar kids, we went over an area that had been previously cleared of mature Sydney golden wattles, and we're getting the seedlings that will come up. Uh, once the ground is open, sunlight gets to it, all the seedlings that are stored in the ground, the seed that's stored in the ground will germinate, and the kids have done a great job and covered the area along the, the old fence line. If you're seeing a patch of these things down the bottom of your garden or in a bush block, they're really easy to identify, especially when they're flowering. Right, so ways to identify a Sydney wattle. On the leaf, um, distinct double vein running longitudinally through the leaf. Um, as you can see, there's, there's, there's sort of dull veins either side of that, but the double vein is quite, quite distinguishable. Um, leaves are generally dark green and flat. Flowers um, generally about 25 to 50 mil long and in a spherical shape, bright yellow, and the flower pod contains these yellow pom poms along the, the flower pod there. Depending on how bad the infestation is, often regeneration just means pulling out the weeds and let what else comes up do its natural thing. Our environment is precious and we need to all look after it.